episode of Ricochet, the Demon Slayer. Ricochet will be slaying demons out of the book of Genesis, chapters 11 and chapter 12. I'm talking a little bit about a dude called Nimrod. Because Nimrod was a mighty dude and he didn't use his, his talents for the Lord. He uses talents to try to become like the Lord, or the Lord. Didn't work out too well for him. We're going to talk about that a little bit more later on. So, Genesis chapter 10, verse 8. It says, And Cush begat Nimrod. He began to be a mighty one in the earth. See, he began to be mighty. He began to be mighty. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord. And that's what they used to say back in the Bible days. Back in the 70s and 80s, I remember people calling other people a Nimrod. And what they meant was, basically this guy Nimrod, he, he was very talented, like I was saying, and he didn't use his talents for the Lord. He ended up becoming destroyed. Canaan got destroyed. And we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Then, I'm going to attempt Sunday morning coming down in Amazing Grace. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven, and let us make us a name. Lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower, which the children of men builded. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language, and this they begin to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Go to, let us go down, and there confound their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, and they left off to build the city. Therefore is the name of it called Babel, because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth, and from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. These are the generations of Shem. Shem was an hundred years old and begat Arphax at two years after the flood. And Shem lived after he begat Arphaxad five hundred years and begat sons and daughters. And Arphaxad lived five and thirty years and begat Selah. And Arphaxad lived after he begat Selah four hundred and three years and begat sons and daughters. And Selah lived thirty years years and begat Eber. And Selah lived after he begat Eber four hundred and three years and begat sons and daughters. 
And Eber lived four and thirty years and begat Peleg. And Eber lived after he begat Peleg four hundred and thirty years and begat sons and daughters. And Peleg lived thirty years and begat Reu. And Peleg lived after he begat Reu two hundred and nine years and begat sons and daughters. And Reu lived two and thirty years and begat Serug. And Reu lived after he begat Serug two hundred and seven years and begat sons and daughters. And Serug lived thirty years and begat Nahor. And Serug lived after he begat Nahor two hundred years and begat sons and daughters. And Nahor lived nine and twenty years and begat Terah. And Nahor lived after he begat Terah an hundred and nineteen years and begat sons and daughters. And Terah lived seventy years and begat Abram, Nahor, and Haran. Now these are the generations of Terah. Terah begat Abram, Nahor, and Haran. And Haran begat Lot. And Haran died before his father, Terah, in the land of his nativity, of, in Ur, of the Chaldees. And Abram and Nahor took them wives. The name of Abram's wife was Sarah, and the name of Nahor's wife Milcah, the daughter of Haran, the father of Milcah, and the father of Iscah. But Sarah was barren, she had no child. And Terah took Abram his son, and Lot the son of Haran his son's son, and Sarah his daughter-in-law his son Abram's wife, and they went forth with them from Ur of the Chaldees to go into the land of Canaan. And they came unto Haran and dwelt there. And the days of Terah were two hundred and five years, and Terah died in Haran. Sunday morning with no way to hold my head that didn't hurt. And the beer I had for breakfast wasn't bad, so I had one for dessert. I fumbled through my closet and I found my cleanest dirty shirt. Then I washed my face and combed my hair and stumbled down the stairs to meet the day. Smoked my mind the night before on cigarettes and song I was picking. Lit my first and watched a small kid playing, playing with the can that he was kicking. Then I walked across the street and caught the Sunday smell of someone's frying chicken. And Lord, it took me back to something that I'd lost somewhere, somehow, a long, long time ago. In the part I saw, that in the park I saw, Daddy with. A laughing little girl that he was swinging And I stopped beside a Sunday school And listened to the songs that they were singing Then I headed down the street And somewhere far away a lonely bell was ringing and it echoed through the canyons like a disappearing dreams of yesterday. On a Sunday morning sidewalk, I'm wishing, Lord, that I was stoned. 
Cause there's something in a Sunday that makes the body feel all alone And there's nothing short of dying that's half as lonesome as the sound Of a sleeping city sidewalk and a Sunday morning coming down Sunday morning sidewalk, I'm wishing, Lord, that I was stoned. Cause there's something in a Sunday that makes a body feel alone. And there's nothing short of dying that's half as lonesome as the sound. Sleeping city sidewalk in a Sunday morning coming down On a Sunday morning sidewalk I'm wishing Lord that I was stoned Cause there's something on a Sunday that makes the body feel alone And there's nothing short of dying that's half as lonesome as the sound Of a sleeping city sidewalk in a Sunday morning coming down I woke up Sunday morning with no way to hold my head that didn't hurt. And the beer I had for breakfast wasn't bad, so I had one for dessert. Then I fumbled through my closet and found my cleanest dirty shirt. And washed my face and combed my hair And stumbled down the stairs to meet the day well, I smoked my mind the night before And cigarettes and song I was picking But I lit my first and watched a small kid play the plane can that he was kicking and I walked across the street and caught the Sunday smell of someone frying chicken and Lord it took me back to something that I'd lost somewhere somehow so long ago Park, I saw daddy with a laughing little girl that he was swinging And I stopped beside a Sunday school and listened to the songs that they were singing Then I headed down the street and somewhere far away a lonely bell was ringing It echoed through the canyons like a disappearing dreams of yesterday. On a Sunday morning sidewalk, I'm wishing, Lord, that I was stoned. Cause there's something in a Sunday that makes a body feel alone. And there's nothing short of dying that's half as lonesome as the sound Of the sleeping city sidewalk and a Sunday morning coming down Jesus name
How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. It was grace that taught my heart to fear. And grace my fears relieved How precious did that grace appear The hour I first believed Sunday morning with no way to hold my head that didn't hurt. And the beer I had for breakfast wasn't bad, so I had one for dessert. Then I fumbled through my closet and found my cleanest dirty shirt. Then washed my face and combed my hair and stumbled down the stairs to me today. I'd smoked my mind the night before on cigarettes and songs that I was picking. But I lit my first and watched a small kid playing, playing with the can that he was kicking. 
I walked across the street and caught the Sunday smell of someone frying chicken. And Lord, it took me back to something that I'd lost somewhere, somehow, along the way. park I saw daddy with a laughing little girl that he was swinging and I stopped beside a Sunday school and listened to the songs that they were singing and I headed down the street and somewhere far away a lonely bell was ringing And it echoed through the canyons like a disappearing dreams of yesterday. On a Sunday morning sidewalk, I'm wishing, Lord, that I was stoned. Cause there's something in a Sunday that makes a body feel alone. And there's nothing short of dying that's half as lonesome as the sound of the sleeping city sidewalk in a Sunday morning coming down. Said on a Sunday morning sidewalk, I'm wishing, Lord, that I was stoned. Cause there's something about a Sunday that makes a body feel alone And there's nothing short of dying that's half as lonesome as the sound Of the sleeping city sidewalk in a Sunday morning coming down In the park I saw daddy, the laughing little girl, that he was swinging. And I stopped beside a Sunday school and listened, I listened to the songs that they were singing. I headed down the street and somewhere far away a lonely bell was ringing And it echoed through the canyons like a disappearing dreams of yesterday well, Thank you Jesus, and thank you Jesus